how I went from this to this. This is achievable to everyone, but not everybody will do it. And potentially made £150,000 profit. just seen how incredible the finish in this property actually is. Now this property was a three bedroom detached house and when we got it I had a vision. I knew what I wanted this property to be because I knew what the ceiling prices on the street were. So I did all my due diligence and all my breakdown of the area before I decided to take it from a three bedroom to a four bedroom with a double storey side extension and an eight meter single story rear extension under permitted development. Now this is where the education comes into play. This is where you need to know certain things. You need to know the breakdown of refurb costs. You need to know ceiling prices. You need to know how to negotiate. I got this property at auction. The vendors wanted 280,000 pound. I got it for 35,000 pound underneath that price after auction when it didn't sell. Now, I knew that this property wouldn't sell because the vision and what you have to do to it, not every single person can do on their first project. This is for more experienced developers, and this is what I teach at the Property Circle. Now, I'm going to give you some key takeaways from this property and some principles that you need to follow because this is not a newbie project. This is not something every single person can do for the first time in the property world. That doesn't mean that you can't do it. It means that the likelihood is 99% of people can't, 1% of people can. Most people have to follow the process, follow the blueprint. A two bedroom terraced house, a slight overhaul, new kitchen, new bathroom, probably paint it, that's your basic steps. Then you go back to taking a property from a two bedroom, three bedroom, back to brick, and maybe doing that, and then following the steps and eventually coming to a bigger project like this. When you are doing projects like this, and if you do want to do them as your first ones and make this type of money, you just need to fill out the contact form below and speak to me. I can teach you how to do this for your first ever project because I have the knowledge, I have the experience, I know what I'm doing. So don't be scared if you want to make the big numbers, 100, 200, 300,000 pounds. There's people like me out there that can actually help you, but the process is simple. If you've not got people like me, do a two bedroom, three bedroom, and do what I said, just. Some of the things that you need in projects like this, you need great architects, you need great structural engineers, you need fantastic contractors, you need a fantastic building inspector that will work with you so your timeline can be adhered to. These are some of the things that you will need. Again, these are things that I have at my disposal for people who want to join the property circle. So my advice to you guys, take the leap of faith, but take the leap of faith educated, get the knowledge, understand what you are doing. This is achievable to everyone, but not everybody will do it. When I designed this house, I had the end user in mind and I wanted to make sure that if we're going to command a figure that this property is worth, we have to think of everything for the people who are going to buy it or rent it. So we had an open plan living space, which is huge. We had a separate part of the living space, which can be turned into a child's playroom. It can be turned into a second dining room. It can be turned into a home office. We gave the option to have that over there. We had a custom made staircase to make the property feel a lot bigger than it actually is, even though it's a huge property. We had a downstairs toilet, because if you've got four bedrooms and you've got two, maybe three toilets, it adds value to the people who are buying or renting the property. We had a downstairs utility. 
we had a separate entrance to the side of the house so you don't have to walk in the main door. And then the heart of the home, which is the kitchen. It's the most important part of a house. It's where the family spend the most of the time. It's where everybody gets together. It's like the community hub of the property. So we made an eight meter extension under permitted development to create that incredible space. The room lets some fantastic lighting from the lantern to the two oversized windows to the patio doors with the huge windows that we have attached to the back of this. We wanted it to be a five bedroom, but we sacrificed the bedroom to add two en suites, which again, I think the end user will massively appreciate. Right then, the numbers, the most important part of any property developer's journey. 247,500 was the purchase price. And the refurb came in at about 160,000. So all in all, I was in this property for about 425,000 pounds. Now, we're putting this property on the market for offers over 500 which means if it hits 500, we clear 75,000 pounds profit. But we know that this property is going to fetch anything in excess of 550,000 pounds, which means we could potentially make a profit of anything over 125,000. Now all these numbers mean absolutely nothing, nothing at all until the property is sold and the money is in the bank. I've already had two offers before we decided to sell this property. Two local people who live here, one lives on the street, has came and made us an offer in cash. Now, the offer is fantastic and we do make six figures, but I believe that this property needs to be marketed. I believe that this property needs to be seen by people who live around here so they can appreciate the quality, the level of finish, and the way it looks. Also, we're in a great catchment area for one of the best schools in the area. So I am highly optimistic. I am also a realist, but I do genuinely believe we will make 150,000 pounds profit on this property. And I think that we could break the ceiling price. All will be revealed soon. It's all just all what ifs and buts until that money is in the bank. But having the vision to create this. Guys, I'm from a council estate. We lived in a three bedroom house. I started my journey in a one bedroom flat. And to be able to build houses like this, to actually finish them to this level is something I am super proud of. And when I achieve things in life, sometimes you have to take a step back and smile because I'm so keen on going to that next level all the time that I overlook. But today, coming here with Duna, walking around my property and actually seeing what I see, I'm very, very proud of what we do. And you guys can achieve this as well. You just need the right people around you.